Hello everybody, Brad here today. Welcome back to City Skylines. Welcome back to the wonderful Accrington. How are you all doing? So last episode we were developing this area over here. So we've got a bunch more houses. We got in this little kind of high street here. And we started to put out some roads for a retail park, didn't we? So what I'd like to do in this episode is to develop this retail park, try and fill in these gaps here, and I'd like to get in some more public transport. So buses, and I'd also like to see if we could get in trains. I mean, maybe not with that kind of budget. We are up at 11% for all of our housing, so we'll see how that goes. Um, if we do get enough money, we will definitely be going with with some trains. So should we get out first thing? If we get out a bus, so should we go? If we start from over here, we're going to want to go. Maybe do something like that, uh, and then go up through here. Why can you not? Because that's one way. That was not a very good Bradders, was it? Let's do a normal road in there. That should be fine. Okay, let's try that again. Then we're going to go up around the high street. We will go through the retail park. Something like that. Then we will connect up over here by the football pitch. Do that and then go back there and then there and then we want um, none of those but we will have in C11s we have five buses I think that will be correct okay so retail park what have we got here um where are all of the buildings where are my buildings here we go so what's the easiest way to do this is there an easier tab where i can get all of that ploppable rico well that sounds good here we go right so let's start with pets at home should we start with our pets at home? So let's get that there. Then we could go with something a bit bigger if possible. Uh, so do these cost money? Yeah, they do cost money. 35,000, that is. Wow, okay. I didn't. For some reason, I thought they didn't cost money. Uh, it's probably me just being a bit stupid. Which, you know, guys, when you think about it, it makes sense. So let's go in Iceland. Can we get... No. Okay, so let's go in Iceland like there. I can't believe how expensive these are. I don't know why I thought they were... Um, I, don't, I was just so sure they were free. That's my problem. My problem, because I'm stupid. It's fine, it's fine. Well, actually... We could do ploppable Rico for industry. Oh, maybe we can't. Okay. So these cost money as well, then? Yeah, they do. Well, that's probably why we haven't got much money, is because when we've been doing it, we've been relying on it being free, which it definitely is not. So let's go... We're going to get rid of that. And for this district, which is currently Glade Heights, I've said it before, I will just mention it again. If you do want to suggest any names for any districts or anything like that, please do just, just comment down below and we'll definitely, um, you know, do whatever you want. If you want it to be called, no, oh, I can't even think of anything. Anything you want, guys, absolutely anything you want. Right, let's get some H2O up here. Uh, not very straight, but something like that will do. That'll do, donkey. And then let's just bring that power line. Hmm. So is that not connected? We turn all that jazz off. Is that connected? Mm, no. Okay. 
let's do something like that for the moment. Doesn't look very pretty, but it'll be changed. It will be changed. So now we've got in a ton more buildings. So we've got some plum center. Can't read that. Can't read that. Can't read that. Can't read that. What's this? No. God, my eyes are bad, aren't they? What's this? No. Absolutely no idea. But this is the kind of feel I'm going for. That kind of a few shops, a few more like industry warehouse kind of things. That's the kind of thing I'm going for. And I hope that's what you're uh, sort of, you know, expecting also when I was talking about doing this area. So we are struggling with money, but we do need a police station up here. I mean, we're going to have to get one in. Apparently that does not service. We're getting more down this way then. We get up there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then for power, we don't actually need those anymore, which is good, they're pretty unsightly. That's a cop shop just there. Right, we've got a bunch of demand for residential. So let's go ahead. We'll grab out, oh, I need to get that mod where you can click on a road and it will just pop up with that road again. Definitely need that. So let's go with, I think this will be that, I see. So if we get a road, what about we just get a straight road that just comes to the back of the police station. How do you feel about that then, Jimmy? Don't know who Jimmy is, but okay. So if we get a path going all the way through, so you can walk through over to the high street. Oh yeah, my crossing mod has had a bit of a wander. Oh, okay, right. And then because here, then we can go and say... Hmm. See, I want to do Rico. Wonder if I turn on unlimited money. Right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go and turn on unlimited money. If you are not a fan and you want me to turn it off, let me know. If you're happy with it, obviously don't. You haven't got to mention anything, but if you don't want me to use it, do just say. But because we've only got four thousand pounds, we sort of need it, need it on so we can get out some transport and get into more Rico building. So I'll be two ticks. I'm back. Cool. So we have unlimited money. If only we could turn on that modern real life, hey? So now we can go a little bit mental and sort of get in whatever we want. So we've definitely got some residential demand. So let's try and do that first. So if we go Rico, I think we'll probably do Rico as much as we can, really, just to save. You just have so much more. Oh. Is that it? We have a lot more um, sort of choice of what you can do. I say that, but apparently those are the only Rico buildings I have for residential. Um, which is interesting. Is that any decoration? No. Don't like it. No decoration. What about... You know, I like these buildings, but... I mean... Maybe we'll get a couple for now. We want another one that's going to look different. Can you look different, please? Rico settings. What do I do here then? College Park. I want to say everything that's custom. Like all of these. Add, I don't know what that means. Enable Rico? Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to fill around that too much because I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's get, we'll get a few of these hazards. Obviously, that's all we can sort of fit. And then, come on, game. And then here, get leafy bush. I love my, my, I like my uh, leafy trees and my leafy bushes. And then on that corner i mean i assume this is theme managed theme yeah so if we go for 
some sort of zoning there then you know we should get our UK housing being zoned in there so let's bring that up to there now we're also going to zone there and there and then here I want to get some more commercial so why how did I get those buildings on Rico because they're not on here are they no guys I don't know how I'm doing it I'm um, magic are they sitting somewhere no they must be right they must be somewhere else let's find them it's not going to be in there I've checked all of these haven't I I thought I did but I might not have yeah okay I am being an idiot I was searching for them wasn't I we search for commercial and wasn't capitals okay then we'll get in some commercial buildings get like a little petrol garage there on the corner what's this hmm don't know what that is um, I think that's all base game can I put in UK commercial yeah so I assume those are some pubs uh, what's that charity shop oh we've got tons of those we love a good old charity shop in the UK on our street corners so a pretty what's this a holly bush oh that looks cool looks like a weather spoons doesn't it and then what else do we have uh, a few bits down here is that Domino's? oh yeah you've got a Domino's haven't you God. looking for a Vodafone oh it looks like we need a fire station so let's get out a fire station hmm Um, why don't we go fire station there? Because that then sort of sends out, um, it's got a bigger radius. Okay. And here, we can get into more, uh, we'll probably actually go commercial here again. But we want some small commercial. That's a bit too big. Um, hmm. well, maybe let's do that because we probably don't want to zone there anyway. And then here we'll just get in a few, a few bushes and was it going to be not very good because we've got a fire there. Let's just get in a few bits here. And when that weed grows, that'll look very nice there. Okay. So that's a little bit more commercial. We've got some more services, some more, a few more residential as well, residential places. So why don't we... We'll go back to that. Train station. I'd like to try and get the train station in. Mostly because... I feel like it's time to get trains in. I feel like it's the right time. If I didn't think it was the right time, we definitely would not be getting trains in. I, I just, I don't know. There's someone that's telling me it's the right time for trains. So why don't we, but how do we want to do it? Because we've got some pretty cool stations. We've got a lot of the Metro Overhaul, if I can speak, the Metro Overhaul mod stations. But the ground stations look quite like the um if i put what we've got infinite money so i can put one down somewhere just to show you if i put one down here look i think they look quite uk-ish you know it's quite common that you have got the track uh tracks the bridge in the middle it's quite big i don't know that's a bit too big for this kind of area is there a smaller one what's that one like yeah that's a bit smaller isn't it I think that's pretty much bang on what this area would have. So should we go up here? 
I think that's quite a realistic place for a train station to be, sort of right in the city centre. It's not like a city, it's more like a town centre, isn't it? And next we already have a bus stop there as well. So probably it's the perfect place. And what about over here? So you'd probably want a train to go here, probably down here, and then to come over this area, maybe with a stop around Robin Hills, and then maybe with a stop near Lilac District, and then come back up in like a loop. Or should we just go sort of here and then like maybe somewhere like there for the moment? Kind of liked one to have been a bit more in the centre. Uh, but I don't want to disturb it too much really. Hmm, lots to think about. Well let's, we definitely want one over here I think. So let's go, we want to bring out some terrain. If I go a little bit larger, like that, because it wants to be as flat as possible. So we bring some terrain out like that, and then smooth, smooth that down. Yeah, that's good. And then we, if we have the station, it's not m overly massive. And we have the station. If we have parkings, you you would normally have parking outside the station, wouldn't you? Can I see topography, please? So we build the road from there to there. Get in the station, so that should be perfectly flat. Yeah, that's good, that's good. We are going to have to get... Oh, I've sort of done that on the wrong side, haven't I? Or should we have a bridge? No. So let's go to that. So we're going to do exactly the same, but we're going to go with the road from there to there. Get the station back in. Yeah, that's my. I hate how it does that. If we can smooth it out. If we, if you go away, we'll bring out the terrain around the station and then we'll smooth it out yeah that's okay then we can join these like so and we'll get rid of those one squares there I don't really want one squares we can definitely have buildings over here defo do that and bring out the district a little bit more Okay, so we've got like a, we've got a plan, we've got a plan guys. Bring water out for there. So we need to connect those two, I feel like we need one more. I feel like it needs to be, could be like here, around the street, around like the Audi. So if we, more about behind the Audi. The thing is the terrain is very uneven around here. Hmm. What about the only other thing I could suggest is that we move the Audi? I don't know why I said it like that. I did. What about if we put the Audi down its own road, like hmm, 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 hmm. If we put this roundabout down to 20, we'll pause the game. Is that. No, that's the one way. And then we come off that roundabout and join that up to that road. And we'll just make sure that's the same road going down there. And then the Audi could sit we brought that um, like this. I wonder if that's a better place for the Audi. Can I not move the Audi? Okay, 
stuff that's demolish. Now if we go here. Ow dicky, ow dicky. There. We'll get in a bunch of trees. So it looks nice, nice. So we've got the Audi there. We could probably get a bit more residential there. And here we could think about a train station. So we came out and said one way with parking like that. And if you go Maybe like that and actually drive up to the roundabout. And then this, if we try and flatten this bit out. It's quite an elaborate plan. I'll be surprised if this works how I want it to. Because it doesn't normally work out like that for me. Okay, and then if we get in the station. Oh, it's a bit tight there actually, isn't it? Okay, so new plan, new plan, new plan, new plan. Is, and then come on, and we get this out there. Smooth it out. Like that. This road comes more like there with the station, which we can sort out a bit more in a sec. Then that carries on hmm, to the roundabout. Um, Don't really want to bend that too much. Though. It's going to look, it's going to look strange somewhere, isn't it? So maybe let's not connect that up. We will go with a two-way road, which connects up via that road there. So it's going to be quite loud for you guys, but too bad. But I'm afraid you're going to have to deal with it like that. This district's going to come out and service the train station. Can make sure it has water, power will probably be fine. And then here we might need to do a bit of smoothing. Oh no, not that, more that. Yeah. Okay, so let's close all of them up. Okay, so let's get out some railway. I said that very strange, didn't I? Railway. And we're going to go. Hmm. It might be easier if we start. Here. How is this going to. Let's start this. Let's start at the easiest place possible, which is probably there. We're going to stay on the ground, straight, then we're going to come around here, and then go straight, so we're basically going to want it to come through here. And what we'll do is we'll go around after and see if anything needs to be changed. So we do that to there and then straight. So you come down. This is going to have to be okay. And you're going to want to come up. You're going to want to come. Come on, auto save. Like that. And then you up. Like that. 
and here can we say to be a bit smoother be a bit smoother please so we do that and then smooth around it hopefully that will look a bit better yeah it's a pretty smooth down slope then it comes up here we're going to have to go across so from there out to there tree oh no don't want to do that let's anarchy to there oh my christ that's horrific okay so there there, there, are going to need to be you raise me up and then that one in the middle okay then over here we should just have to connect it up now. So let's change that one to that. And then if we go like that, and then like that. And again, we'll just sort this out. That seems good to me. Okay. So now we need to connect this up with our station here. So let's go. We have to go elevated to that. I should probably just have straight slope on. That makes my life so much easier, wouldn't it? Silly boy. And then on the ground we're gonna go. You can go. And we're gonna go around the farms. Like that. If we come around here, we will go in and sort all of this out after. Then you're going to have to go elevated to something like 10 meters to then get across to here and then connect up. Okay. So that's all okay. It's probably easier if that's pretty much. Oh no, not bridge. No, not bridge. I said to be all elevated. Um, so you can come up. You can come up to about there, and you, and then. I quite like that sort of cutting out at the edge of the cliff. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know how you feel about the train. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to put that back to there. I know that would be great if you want to get from here to here. I know it's annoying, but do you know what? We're going to go with it. So we want to go there. To there. To there. Then back, and then back. What trains? Oh yeah, the X sixty SL. That's the best train. What? Two. I think two is going to be absolutely plenty. Yeah, that's quite fairly realistic for the UK. And to be honest, guys, I think this is the end of this town. Um, this was always meant to be a mini series. It was never meant to be a long series. And I've got some really, really exciting things that I want to try out with the game. And I've got an idea for a longer series that I want to show you guys. And I want to sort of get involved with that. I feel like this city, 
or it's definitely more of a town. It's not stagnating, it's just there's not much more I can do with it to make it look realistic. You know, I want to do more universities, um, you know, campuses, big train stations, big city centres, and it's not really something I can do with this one. So this is the end of this town, but please stay tuned because we've got a really exciting series coming up here on the channel. So thank you very much for watching for this mini series on building a UK town. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned because we're going to be starting straight away with our new city. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very, very shortly. I'll see you later. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, post a comment down below, and please follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep updated. See you later.